Hello my pinkies and welcome back to another plan with me video. It's like two video in one week. What's going on? <laughs> well, summer's ended so it's not too busy and school just started this week so I thought this kit would be perfect for school because it's all about books and I've been hoarding this um, kit for a year now. This is from Plantasia. I'll have her shop link down below. I figured this is such a good kit to use, especially for back to school and for summer, not summer, September, when you're transitioning from summer to fall. So here I just spread out the kit that I got. It was supposed to be used for my happy planner, but I'm just gonna use it in my Erin Condren. And I've pulled out some washi that really goes well with this kit too. Here's the look back of last week. I didn't really do a plan with me with this one. This one I just sat down and did it myself. So this week we are planning from September 3rd to September 9th. Let's get started. With using a happy planner kit in your Erin Condren, you have to be careful because the measurements of the happy planner are a little bit taller than your Erin Condren. So there will be less space to work with at the end when you have like a to-do list or events day. So here I am. I always put down my first uh, focus sticker, which is always the Thursday sticker in the center of the week. I decided I wanted the quote sticker to be the top left corner sticker instead. I decided to add some top header washi. I'm going to use my holo silver washi for that, the scallop washi. And then I'm going to finish off my full boxes. How I usually do it is that it, I look at the kit itself and see what is pattern and what is not and try to spread it out. Also looking at the colors, I do like to tend to um, put similar color on the weekend so that it's a bit coordinated that we know that okay the last two days or column are, is the weekend so I try to put uh, similar colors together as you can see and then during the week Monday Wednesday and Friday are patterns so it's spread out and same with the colors once I have that down I'm going to start working on my bottom washi and I think I like to pair it off with some words and some bow washi from my collection I decided to add the holo scallop washi at the bottom just to balance the spread out a bit now I'm going to do the same for the other side This is my scatter planning, so next I add a little washi border just to divide the full boxes up. And after I added my washi borders, I'm going to do my two days. Not sorry, to do's. And I'm going to use the washi that came with the kit for the border washi here. As you can tell, I thought I could rip it, but it's I think it's vinyl. I don't know, I could not rip it, so I had to use my exacto knife. Now I'm just going to add my checkbox flag underneath. Sorry, that's kind of out of frame there. And now this kit does come with extra blank headers. I don't know if you guys do remember, but usually the old version, old Happy Planners have headers like that it says, morning, afternoon, night, something like that and then you will have to cover it with headers or blank headers but this was this kit was bought last year and it was made for Happy Planner so I'm so happy that they have it or that I can use it now because I'm going to use these as dividers because it's perfect for what I'm using it for. I'm going to do this for Monday to Friday. I just love it when kits have these extra little things, like extra little headers that you can use. Because like if you're not a washi collector or don't have any washi, it's a great little sticker to use just to divide the days off. After my to-dos are my meal plans. I generally sometimes have a rule here that if my full boxes is, um, like say for example for Monday, the primary, color for Monday is navy. My general rule be, will be using that whole box is going to be majority all navy and then so on and so forth. Um, but sometimes you don't get kits that are 
coordinated like that way so you just do the best as you can the reason why I decide to do it that way is because I'm scatter planning right now and to introduce more colors and mix of colors it just doesn't seem to organize it just seems like whoa there's so much stuff going on but if you divide the columns into specific colors it just gives it a bit more organized look and feel to it even though it looks like you're scattered once I place out all my meal plan stickers I'm gonna add another divider just to divide it off then I'm going to put all these lovely beautiful quarter boxes and half boxes down for my today events my bottom left hand corner is always going to be my reminder slash for next week so that it's easy for me just to flip back and know what needs to be done for next week when I'm planning next week's now on to my weekend banner since I started using or doing banners like weekend banners like page flags I like doing that because a lot of the kits I used before I'll always have these page flags all like left out like never use them but now there's a purpose that I can use it for my banner flags and it's great and I feel like I'm not wasting a whole sheet of paper And now on to my sidebar. I usually use my sidebar as an Instagram tracker on what I'm going to post for Instagram this week. So I'm just using two of their kit washi for headers. And then because their page flag checkbox only has six dots, so I'm just going to Frankenstein it with the leftover checkbox and add an extra dot to it so it's a seven dot instead of a six dot flag once the week is done i'm going to go through the decoration sheet just to see if i could use this functional icons And then I'm going to just decorate this like crazy. After I'm done adding my decor stickers, I'm going to take it off camera and fill it out. And here you go guys. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me video. I had so much fun. Um, as I said at the beginning of the year, I decided not to hoard any more, more kits and just use them and this is actually my trophy book my collection book so that i know with all the stickers that i do hoard it's going to go in this book and it's going to be kept in this book just a quick reminder that this weekend september 7th till the 9th yes we are having a plan across sale meaning that certain shops uh that are standalone shops we're getting together to do a collab sale and just check out our Instagram or our Facebook page for more information about this sale. We are offering 20% off and use the code PCFALL18 to get 20% off of our store. Or just go to their website and see what other stores are participating and use that same code. And I think each store is different discounts off, but you use just one code. And if you shop, I think, in a group and collect all five stickers, you get to enter a draw and win $100 PayPal credit. I'll have all that information in the description down below. And thank you guys for watching. Happy planning. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.